Good afternoon, this is Jared with Carpet Digital and today we're going with ClickUp, using a ClickUp form and embedding that form into WordPress's dashboard. So let's get started. All right. So we're starting in our plugins area. So let's start with our dashboard. So here in our dashboard, all of these different things here that can be moved, these are called widgets. So this is a widget area. So you can create your own custom widgets and we're gonna go here and create one of these. And then we're going to put our click up form inside of it. So it's gonna be pretty awesome. Uh, so first we need to add a new plugin. We're going to search, search for custom. Uh, We'll pull up the list. We're looking for this one here by Space XChimp. It's called My Custom Functions. Go ahead and install that. And the reason I like this one is because it's not obtrusive. It's not going to create a, a new menu item here. It's not going to create additional dashboard widgets. It's just pure, plain, here's your code, plug it in, done. So once that's installed, go ahead and activate that. So this actually, you can see here, my custom functions is activated. Uh, it's not on the side here, it's actually hidden under settings. And it's called PHP insert, insert er. Mm -hmm. All right, so once you're in here, you're gonna have to click this on off button to turn that on, so green is on. We'll go ahead and save that. Then we're gonna come to uh, click up. You're going to go to your form. If you haven't yet created a form, go to your folder and then on this list at the top, click view, click, uh, click form, and then it'll populate with this page so you can build your form. Once your form is built, that's where ooh, you can add, actually add an image. That's cool. Let me do that real quick. Uh, desktop icon. Um, yeah, that looks stupid. All right, so I have to restructure my icon. No worries. Uh, once the form is built and it's ready and it's done, all you have to do is click on the share button in the top right hand corner, and then you see this embed code. It starts with iframe. Go ahead and click copy, and we're going to move on to a text editor. This is where the fun begins. So switch back to my custom functions and then open up a text editor. So this is the code we're going to be using and I'll provide this in, uh, in the blog post that I create for this. But if you're just ch checking this from the video that was just created today, uh, then you're gonna probably have to type this out, which is not a big deal. I'll try to post it into the Facebook post, that way you have it. But this is the code you're looking for. All right. This start PHP stuff up here, and this end PHP stuff down here. You don't need that because this plugin already recognizes that it's PHP. So you don't have to add those PHP tags. Uh, the only reason I have them here is because I'm using a text editor and using these tags here the end and here at the beginning makes this look better. Makes all those colors come into play a lot better. So here is our starting point. So uh, I've actually got comments in here. This one is to create the new widget. And then here's our two functions for actually putting the pieces together. So this says Here's our widget settings function. And this says basically use WordPress default style. So this same look here, you can see web ARX looks beautiful. That's not the default styling. It's got the default header, but not the bot, not everything underneath. So we're actually using nothing but default settings because we don't need anything else. So 
that's going to cover your header there. Uh, it stops. This here is the actual code, the actual function for WordPress. It's actually going to create the page. So here is where we update our title. So this is going on to my website for Service. So, so now that the title's in there, all we have to do is come down to this function and update our string. So in between these two lines here on line 19, this little string variable, this is what we're going to paste paste. I actually prefer to realign all this so it's easier to read, but it really doesn't make a difference. So once you have that string in there, I'm going to go ahead and realign this real quick. So now all this is ready. What I have to do is copy this. If you actually want to put in a comment, that's what you do. Too. So at any point in time, if they log into your site and they work on something and they need to create a task, they can always do it from right here. They don't have to go log in somewhere else. They don't have to do anything else. This is right here. And what's beautiful about this is the purpose of this form is for creating a new task for the ASICs. But a lot of people on WordPress also utilize the maintenance plans. So if there's anything that they need to, to reach out to you about, for example, uh, putting a, a support ticket in, something like this is super simple because you can still set up all of your ClickUp automation on the back end and they don't have to do anything special with what they're already doing to create some of this amount of impact, which also streamlines your capability. So this is phenomenal. In another video, uh, we're going to cover putting this into a custom WordPress theme. And then eventually we're going to get into putting this into a custom plugin. And so I'll have to research both of those and get back to you. That's on the horizon. So that's all that I have for today. This is pretty awesome. Uh, let's actually do a test one to make sure it's still used. So let's have two results. Ask. So here, I'm just going to submit this form. See that task show up over there. So this is low. Task type. Say this is a conceptual task, jazz category, save other task name is blog post needed.
So when I hit submit, it's going to submit this form. Boom. And so the only thing that the customer has to do is basically change. That's amazing, right? So switching over to ClickUp, you can see that that task is already created. And all of the information pulled in from the uh, the information pulled in from the form is already here. So it's, it's phenomenal. It's beautiful. I love everything. So uh, that's all that we have for you guys today. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, complaints, send them over. We'll take a look at them. Uh, stay tuned for the next couple of revisions of this. It's going to be pretty awesome. All right, everybody.